What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 28 of our blind Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. For those of you who are just randomly joining in the middle of this, or who started maybe not on the first episode and don't really know what that means, uh, blind Let's Play means I have avoided all spoilers, or almost all spoilers, all the spoilers that I could, um, before the game came out, and so I'm playing this pretty blind. Uh, I really, I knew very little about the game. Check out episode zero if you want to learn a little bit more about that. So we are, we just finished route 10. Uh, we're going to check out the bus stop. We're going to catch uh, a ride to the, to the observatory. Uh, the Executor Express. We're going to hop on this bad beast, this motor scooter, and take it all the way up to uh, Mount Hokulani. And uh, Kukui's waving goodbye, just like uh, How does. No, he's saying, over here! Hey! Hey! Geo! Hokulani is the second tallest mountain in Alola. And the tallest? Which, which one's the tallest? Ooh! Check it out, Geo. You see that steep, jutting, majestic peak right over there? That's Mount Lanikila, the highest peak in Alola. Whoa. It's a sacred spot, yeah. The closest you can ever get to the legendary Pokemon of Alola, said to be in Moon Incarnate. That's it, right there, on the peak of Lanikila. That's where I'll establish our Pokemon League. We'll get everybody who's finished their island challenges, yeah. And up there, on the peak of Mount Lanikila, they'll battle against the Kahunas to become the Island Challenge Champion. I've always valued our old traditions here in Alola, but it's time to make a champion the whole world will recognize. It's time to get our own Elite Four and make our own Pokemon League. To think that someday the kiddos in Alola will be able to be the Island Challenge Champion and the World Champion. And then, we have our own champion, and we can rest of the world, blah, 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 blah. Oh my god, stop talking. But that is really cool to know, they don't have an Elite Four yet. Hokulani Observatory is on Mount Holu Hok Hokulani's Peak, etc., etc. Okay. Okay. Thanks this Pokemon help. You can patrol the peaks of the mountain. You're walking down the mountain. It's pretty far to the next bus stop. Sorry, youngster, but I can't fight you. Pokemon's like a brother to me. Blah, blah, blah. Lot of talking going on here. Oh, boy. And our first battle of the episode. First battle of episode 28. Office worker Jessica. Clefairy. Clefairy goes down to that boosted trop kick. That thing is actually really this. Oh man. I actually really like this Pokemon. Um, so this is. It does seem to be a pretty long run, but there's. There's a TM over there. There's an item right here. And so a grassy area here, and a trainer tips. Maximum number of Poke Beans you can collect. And Poke Lago. Poke Lago. I haven't even been there yet. Volt Switch. That's an... Oh, man. That's a really good move. We're finding some good... Pretty strong TMs here. Interested in seeing whether or not we have any... Um, any new Pokemon here. <gasps> No sooner do I speak than I see- Oh my god, what is this? Okay. Uh, looks like rock type Minior. It's like a meteor. Maybe it's- Maybe it's part fairy. Ah! I, I literally it just said. Uh, okay, so let's uh, drop this guy's speed. He's got ancient power. I resist that. Uh, okay, so- Levitating or flying it wouldn't have shown me something if it were levitating. I think it's just straight up flying Go for a double kick this will show no No 
Ah! It's self-destructed. Oh, but see, Basket wants to learn high horsepower. Very cool. Ground type move. 95 power, 95 accuracy. So unfortunately, even though it's a very cool sounding move, it's weaker than Earthquake and not 100% accurate. So not a whole lot of reason to use it. I'm really, really disappointed that Miniord self-destructed. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to switch Lil' P up here because I want Lil' P to get a sing off on that thing before it self-destructs next time. Also, I'm going to revive McBro because I don't want him to be missing out on experience. And why not? I got a couple of random potions. I'll just pop them all on Seabad Skit. And McBro. And Lil' P. Who needs regular potions? So I'm gonna actually battle here until I ca until I see another uh, mini ore. Oh, the very next battle, not bad. Okay, maybe it's the only thing up here. Step one, sing. Shields down. It doesn't affect him. What is happening to this? <laughs> what is happening to this Pokemon? Ooh, but now that we've battled it once, we see uh, Sparkling Aria is super effective. Maybe it's ground flying. And that's why the ground type didn't affect it. But then Acrobatics is not very effective. Ground rock? Or flying rock, I mean? Yeah, it looks like flying rock. Let's go for an Acrobatics. Oh, man. Self-destructs again. I'm not sure what I can do to avoid it from... I don't know what I can do differently here. Uh, outside of just throwing a Pokeball at it and hoping for the best, I'm not sure how. Another one. So they're, they're pretty popular. They might be the only thing here. I feel like a disarming voice is just going to straight Oko it, but it's a weak attack and I'm going to go for it anyway because there's a chance he'll live. And if he does live and doesn't go for self-destruct. Okay. Okay, I have a chance here. Oh boy, he got all of his stats boosted. Shields down. <gasps> Look at him! <laughs> Look at him! Where'd he go shoot that? <laughs> oh my god, please. Please, I need this thing in my life. I need it so badly. Ultra Ball. I'm getting serious here. Oh my word, Minior is the cutest thing. Yes! Yes! Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so happy. Well, P wants to learn Hyper Voice. I don't really want it. 90 power. Nah, Acrobatics is better. I wonder if he'll be able to learn Boom Burst. That'd be pretty sweet. Minior's data added to the Pokedex. Let's have a look, huh? This thing looks so cool. It doesn't show it all covered in dirt. I wonder if there are literally two different Pokemon that you can catch. So it is rock flying. If its core is exposed, it will soon die off. It may survive if put in a Pokeball quick enough. Uh, okay, what do I name Minior? What do I nickname it? Um... I'm gonna name this little thing. I'm gonna name it Z Drive because it's kind of like it's kind of high tech the way it. This is kind of a hark back to A Drive uh, from from the league, and yeah, I am gonna add this thing to my party. 
And we're gonna boot. Who are we gonna boot? Hate to see you go, Bouncy. You are legitimately a really strong Pokemon, but um, but you're fully evolved, and we've got other po. Wait, hold on. But I just saw that this thing doesn't evolve. So why did I even bother? Oh well. Let's have a look at uh, at what Shields Down does. When its HP becomes half or less, this Pokemon shell breaks and it becomes aggressive. So one thing I want to see, I'm going to lead with this Pokemon and see if it looks differently when you lead with it and every single time. I know it's it's less than half health right now, so maybe if I, maybe that's the whole point. Maybe I heal it real quick. I'm so confused by its ability. Summary. So it's still outside of its shell. So, let's get into another battle and have a look. We're learning. This Pokemon is unique and weird. So that one is still in its shell. Mine comes out outside of its shell. Shields down, full health, and transforms back into the rock version. Okay. What moves do I have? Swift, ancient power... Wow, that's interesting. I never thought about that. Rock doesn't resist rock, so Ancient Power is actually super effective against another Ancient Power Pokemon. Very interesting. Totally didn't even think about that at all. Uh, let's run from this. This is the only Pokemon I've seen. Oh, I, didn't, I couldn't get away. He's popping off Swifts. If I'm not going to be able to get away, might as well just... Nope. I, oh, I accidentally hit it a second time and successfully got away that time. Okay. So it looks like there's not really anything else up here. So let's get out. Does this really go all the way down the mountain? You know, I'm guessing I'm not supposed to do this until after I'm done with the observatory. So let's go do the observatory. Uh, he's got a bull door. Who am I leading with? Z-Drive? Shields down! Ooh! Okay, so in the second Pokemon that this guy sent out, he actually has a, a, a Lolan-looking Geodude. Which is pretty sweet. Uh, he looks different. I don't know what his uh, what difference he has in his typing or stats or anything like that. But the fact that he wasn't one shot by that uh, bubble beam kind of makes me think that he's not he's no longer ground rock because otherwise he would have been four times a super effective. Still. Uh, Still super effectively hit by fighting. So he's definitely either... So he either has taken on steel typing. And or lost rock typing. I mean, he could have been four times weak to that. I'm not sure. But we're going to head back up. We're going to head back up here. Because I don't think we're supposed to go down yet. No, I know, I know we're not supposed to go down yet. We just took a bus to get up here. Uh, let's hop on uh, my little buddy. See if there's any items around. There's an item right here. How do I get in there? Teach me your ways. What's the trick? What's the secret? I saw an item. Oh, there it is. A level ball. I haven't seen one of those in a while. There's the bus. Do you want to ride down to the stop at the base? No, I do not. Why would I want that? I could fly up there and around there if I wanted to. So, looks like we kind of explored this area. We got a gentleman at the door here. Hey there. You're fired up as ever, eh, Royal? 
This is Moy Lane. He runs the observatory and also manages the PC boxes. But he's not the captain. Is that what it said? He was the captain once. Thanks for coming all the way up to visit us. But our captain, Sophocles, is a busy young man. Always calculating comets' paths or working on the festival plaza. Oh, Sophocles, I remember that guy. I'll gladly show you the skills of a trainer who toughened up adventuring alongside Kukui back in the day. Okay, so we get a little bat we get a little battle here. Not against a captain, just against uh, Pokemon trainer Moilane who invent who manages the PC. He's got a Skarmory and an Ultra Ball. So, um, I need to check the stat differences of this Pokemon before and after. So, summary while I'm in rock form is 70 special defense, 57 defense, and uh, high 30s, low 40s of every other stat. Okay. Good to know. So, high defenses. Looking like he's got a kind of um, Aegislash Slash theme, but instead of controlling when he switches in and out, it's just to do with his health. He just switches forms at 50% health, sort of like Zen Mode Darmanitan. I wonder what else this guy's got. So he's got one Skarmory. Decent amount of health on him. Was that a Custat Berry? No, we just used a healing item. Uh, that's that's my mom texting me, asking me Thanksgiving questions. But uh, she's going to have to wait because we're in the middle of taking out Moy Lane. He's got a Matang. Ooh, this guy's all about the metal. Who's got... Uh, I'm going to check pretty soon. Who has... I'm going to check who has my... Amulet coin. Might still be Lil P. I don't remember. Bullet punch from this thing. This guy's got some. Uh, he's got some good Pokemon. A lot of bulk. Bugnitude's 35. I'm still waiting on him to evolve. Doug Trio is fast, but uh, not super strong. Looks like Nips still has the amulet coin, so I guess he's gonna have to be the one who comes in. This guy. Wow. I'm sorry, that's hilarious though. Sucker po oh my god, that's power. Oh god. Yeah, he'll kill me with another attack. Unless he sucker punches, but Uh, I don't want to get Z Drive in there. He's not going to do anything. Let's get McBro in there. He's he's 31, still hasn't evolved. So I'm starting to think there's something to his evolution that's not just levels. I'm starting to think that about a lot of these Pokemon, to be honest. Oh, this Doug Tree. Oh, I lived. But Power Up Punch is not very strong. Luckily, Doug Trio is not very defensive. I love the. The hair. The wavy Fabio style mane that he's got going on. The You're with Kukui. Looks like he brought along a good trainer. He did, but now I need healing because you broke down a lot of my Pokemon. You seem qualified to take on the trial. He's even stronger at this point of our island challenge. He's stronger than you at this point of our island challenge. That's one thing current in the name's Kukui, blah blah blah. Going back to Melee Garden. I figure how should be done eating the Malasada by now. I'll make sure he makes it up here too. 
Eesh, a lot of talking. His old buddy. Welcome to the observatory. I'd really like to be healed. I think you'd better go with Moylene there, pal. See what uh, the observatory has to offer. I agree with you. How are my Pokemon doing? No, I didn't heal any of them. Um, let's start... Let's move McBro up here and let's actually just heal him up. Fresh water is 30. Hyper potion is 120. That'll do. And we'll give him the... We'll give him the held item. Because part of what I'm wondering... I don't have like a sunstone. And a lot of grass... Not a lot. There are grass Pokemon that evolve with a sunstone. So... He's going to give us something. A comet shard. I wonder what that does. He might explain it. Fragment that fell to the earth. You can feel the vastness of space. Oh, what a sense of adventure. But what are you? Can be sold at a high price to shop. That's it? You're just going to give me money? <laughs> Good cameras. Don't fail us, computer. Okay, let's hop in here. A lot of boxes all around here. This is a door. We'll take that in a second. Is that the only way to go? Okay. Aha! Sophocles! Getting close, pal. I imagine we're going to attempt my trial, huh? So, uh, do you like Festival Plaza? Yes, I do. It's a pretty good idea. Oh, if that's the case, then fine. Whatever. Let's get started. Right now? Right now. Right here. You summon the totem Pokemon and prove your strength to it. And that's what the trial boils down to, right? So I thought, why not just call the totem here from the start? So I tried a bit of this and a bit of that, and I've whipped up this little device to call the totem Pokemon. Perhaps you're wondering why I built a machine. Here at the observatory, we also monitor the sounds that we tagged from outer space. Some sounds that are inaudible to people, but humans can, uh, Pokemon can hear just fine. We broadcast the sounds we gathered terrestrially and monitor the reactions of Pokemon. The machine that summons the totem Pokemon. Oh my god. Ping Totemon to Pokemon 2.0. Engage. Vvoon. Yarg. No way. Did I blow a fuse? Ow. Did you close the door? Let's see. I have to turn on the security system. Get the door open. You'll need to have pass an audio quiz. So let's get the trial going. My trial is about to begin. Oh boy. In order to open the door, please respond to the following audio quiz. What sound do you hear? That's what you heal at the Pokemon Center. As soon as the door opened, a Pokemon attacked us. Oh, is there a new weather effect? Darkness or something? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Oh, it's a Grubbin. Get him, McBro. Give him the old one-two. You guys see this cool animation? I'm not even going to fast-forward this battle. Watch this. Give him the old one-two. Bam, bam. So cool. All right, audio quiz, continue. Detecting presence of approaching totem Pokemon. Let's respond to the audio quiz, let's go. I don't actually know. Rotom Dex? Oh, cool. <laughs> Charge! It was a Charger Bug. Unless some other Pokemon says Charge and then Static Electricity is the air. Nope, just a Charger Bug. Charger Bug faints. See Bad's get levels. Nips levels. And wants to learn Slash. But we're gonna 
I'm not gonna bother with that. Totem Pokemon on its way. Still approaching. It's coming up the road. Probably one more stage closer. 50%, yeah. Auto quiz. Um, I don't remember what Puku Muku sounds like. Uh, I'm gonna go with Charger Bug because we just fought it, so I thought they might assume that's fair. Because otherwise, that's a pretty hard question. So that's why I guessed that one. Also, it kind of sounded a little bit like there was some electricity there, and Grubbin's not electric type. I don't know, like, we've hardly seen Puku Muku, so I don't know why they would expect us to know his call. I do like this puzzle. This is very reminiscent. The trials are starting to get very reminiscent of actual gyms when they had little puzzles and little fun things to do inside them, so. Extremely close by, so probably see him walking up to the... Yep, walking up to the door. Kind of flying with like an electric sound. Final security question. Audio quiz. What appears when you hear the following music? Sounds pretty epic. I'm gonna go with a totem Pokemon. Boom. The presence I sense here. There it is, the totem Pokemon. This is your time to shine, Geo. So we fought a Grubbin and a Chargebug, so I'm wondering if the Pokemon we're about to fight is going to be the evolved form of that. Vika Vault, the totem Pokemon of the Hokulani Observatory, has appeared. I really do think it's the evolution of Chargebug, which uh, it's disappointing. I would have liked to see it myself, but that is very cool. It's stats rose. All of them? Oh, man. Um. Come on, there's no way this thing is not immune to ground, but let's do it anyway. Yep, it's levitating now. Wow. Vika Vault got an allied Pokemon. What's he got? Just a charger bug? Well, I'm not going to survive another bug bite, but... Um... Shoot. This is no good. What can I do here? I mean, there's two Pokemon against me right now, so I, I think I just need to sacrifice Seabadskit. I didn't really want to lead with Seabadskit, but yeah, I'm not going to survive another Bug Bite. So Seabadskit goes down. String Shot. Yeah. Could bring in Bugnitude here. Um, could also bring in Z Drive. Self Destruct will hurt both of them quite a lot. Ancient power, uh, super effective against some of these. Shields down, so let's get those defenses up. Let's resist. I know I don't resist electric type. Oh, hmm. It's not super effective against Vikavolt. So, does Vikavolt drop the bug typing? Let's go against, let's beat Charger Bug down a little bit. This probably won't kill it, but... Hits me with a spark, that's actually super effective? Oh, I'm flying type! Shields down! Oh yeah, let's check my stats now. Now that my shields are down. Uh... 
attack, special attack, and speed go up, and defenses drop a lot. So at level 28, uh, I'm not... I mean, I'm... I'm, I'm feeling like probably Vikavolt is still faster than me. Uh, he is not. So I'm able to take out the charge -a bug, which is probably a useless thing to do because I'm pretty sure he's just going to summon another one right away. So Z-Drive goes down. That was probably not in my best interest. Uh, Lil P is not going to do so well here, so it's going to be up to Bugnitude to take on his his older adversary. So I could test this to see whether or not he's still bug type by hitting acrobatics on him. I feel like that's pointless. But let's do it anyway. Neutral. So he is, it looks like he is still the same typing. X scissor will probably hit him harder. Oh, about the same. But now he's calling in his ally. So I, I weakened him as much as I could. As much as I could prior to him summoning his friend. I'm getting kind of weakened here, but um, I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for the acrobatics again because it looked like it did a little bit more damage, but maybe it didn't. He's gonna go for a charge here. Special defense rose. I can take a bite. I should be able to. I, I outsped him last t couple turns. I should be able to finish him off here. Hit him with that X scissor. And he does go down. So much, much, much easier than the last totem battle. These guys don't really have a. Um, they weren't really, weren't really working in any kind of special combo. They're just, I mean, they're they're powerful, very high attack Pokemon with great typing and good defenses. I love that Vikavolt has Levitate. That's just great. And Bugnitude steps up. Bugnitude saving the day. Vwoon, vwoon, vwoon. Looks like we're all done here. Trial complete. Sophie, Big Mo, nice work, Captain. You helped Geo here through his trial, and your experiment was a success. It seems that your pink totem Pokemon 2.0 uses too much electricity. If you need a little assistance from Charge a Bug, we should be able to make some improvements. Here, Geo, I'll give you this Electrium Z to reward you. Very cool. I'll probably give that to Charge a Bug. Although maybe it's not worth it because he's still rocking the. He's still rocking the. Acrobatics to very good use. You watching? It's fine when the power. It, I was fine when the power was off. Jeez, now that you see me, I feel all nervous. I'm not sure what to say. Thanks, or uh, congratulations, you passed my trial. Oh, Sophocles. Congratulations on clearing your trial. And you, Sophocles, you did as captain. I was really nervous. Oh, he's such a cute little guy. Look at him. I somehow ended up as captain. You were really great, Geo. I see. Then let me reward you. What are you giving me? Stelium. Okay. <laughs> I got the professor's mask. It's a key item. So sure, we can take it to him. And that's it. There you go, guys. So the professor is back in Melee Garden again. So that's going to be where we end this episode. Uh, we just finished uh, 
Sophocles, he said maybe next time we can battle, maybe you'll make it to the Pokemon League someday up top that mountain, just like Professor Kukui said. So that's going to be it, guys. We just got two new Z-Power gems, and we finished off the trial of Sophocles. And so that's going to be the end of the episode. Uh, I'm, and that's going to be the end of this kind of episode chain that I've been putting up. So see you guys in a few days. I'm going to go enjoy my Thanksgiving with my family. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time.